The information is presented for educational purposes only. is not intended to diagnose or prescribe for any medical or psychological condition or prevent, treat, mitigate, or cure such conditions. This information is only presented here for entertainment and educational purposes only. Living Waters Wellness Center was formed after we discovered how to heal my own body from the multiple symptoms, including allergies, asthma, chronic fatigue, back pain, psoriasis, acne, hives, yeast infections, and finally, cancer. After 20 years of trying numerous different treatments, everything from medical to cleanses, iridology, muscle therapy, acupuncture, acupressure, homeopathy, naturopathy, these experiences led us to discover the recipe that became known as the Four Natural Laws of Healing. Combining multiple natural healing modalities to fully detox, cleanse the body, and then allowing the body to take the perfect nutrition to fully restore the body back to its innate health. This became known as the 10-Day Healing Retreat. We have helped thousands of people just like you get their health restored so they can live their life to the fullest extent. Good morning, everyone. David DeHaas from Living Waters Wellness Center and your host of the Whole Body Detox Show. Welcome to this week's version of our show. By the way, if you're here for the first time and you miss any parts of this show, don't fear. We've got a great place. You can go catch anything you missed. If you say, hey, what did he just say? Go to wholebodydetoxshow.com or wherever you get your podcasts and just type in Whole Body Detox Show. We'll pop up and you can listen to any of our 75 episodes that we put up there so far, especially this one as well. They usually go up after the show airs, so it's where you can get your information if you're missing part of the show. Living Waters Wellness Center was founded in 2009 for the very specific reason of doing a 10-day healing retreat. i got to tell you, we just got done doing a 10-day healing retreat. And the reason why we formed this whole uh uh, business was we had such great success in our own family with healing our bodies. Not only mine, but my father-in-law, who was given a diagnosis of living just four more months, lived another 12 years. My dad was given prostate cancer, was told he had two years maybe at best. His PSN number was 38. They said, well, best case, you can probably get it down to seven or eight, but it's going to come back in two years no matter what treatments we do. My dad began to cleanse that very day. And within about six or seven days, I know by the end of the cleanse, his PSA numbers were down to zero. Zero point zero zero three four seven to be exact, and it's been that way for 13 years. My dad's 89 years of age, still got his health, can still function and get around on his ranch. And you know, isn't that the beauty of having life? Is being able to live your best life, living as well as you can for as long as you can, not just living long, but living well. You know, the goal here is to have as much fun, see the things, do the things you want to do, and and uh, while you're here on Earth. And so that's what we bring you, Living Waters. We bring you the tools to detoxify and cleanse your body. Because once you do that, you follow the four natural laws of healing, you're going to get well. You can't help but get well. Oh my gosh, just this week alone, we had, saw, had a gal was going through chemo and she says, man, I have no brain. I can't remember anything. And she was thinking about just completely shutting down her practice. And she's a, she's a doctor. And uh, she told me on about day 10 or 11, she says, you know what? I'm going to get some more clients. <laughs> Kudos to her. And uh, she'll continue to get better and better as she goes on this journey. And uh, the change in the color of their face. Another guy, when I first met him, he shuffled and hobbled in with a cane and really hard to get out of a chair. And I got to tell you, on day five, I joked with him. I said, slow down, partner. We have to get you some track shoes. You're going so fast. And we haven't seen the cane since, I think, day two. In fact, I asked him the day, I said, where's your cane? He says, oh, I think it's in the car. I haven't used it for a while. <laughs> Those are the kinds of things that happen when you get your body clean and healed. And, you know, the reality is we're in a very toxic soup bucket. There's so many toxins coming out. It's last summer during all those fires. That was probably one of the worst fire seasons on record. And how do I know that? Because I've been recording antioxidant scores in people's bodies like yourself. And we have a machine here that measures those antioxidant scores. And when you see them decrease... In a matter of a couple of weeks, uh, 40, 50 percent, that is a serious problem. In other words, when you take someone's antioxidant level, antioxidants stop cell damage, they stop the oxidation, they stop cancer cells are be become formed because of free radical damage. Antioxidants stop free radicals. So it's a very important number, it's very important to know. So that's a source. Another source of free radical damage damage to the body that we've been seeing, as you've heard me report on here before, is from cell towers. Idaho's for Safe Technology, where I'm president and uh, one of the workers there, the volunteers, just had success in Ada County's uh, 
commissioners rejected an unnecessary cell tower out in Star, Idaho. So we're saving the brains of some people out in Star, Idaho. Uh, and why do I say that? So, well, because we can measure. And what we put into the record is that we have a ex couple experts on our staff. They can come and measure your home. So if you're having trouble sleeping, if you're like, God, why do I have this feeling? There might be some dirty electricity or it might be a lot of electromagnetic frequency coming your way. I bought a couple of these meters myself. But to go back to what we did is we went out there, we measured, and we found that there was no gap in coverage for this particular cell tower. And because there's no gap in coverage, there's no need. When there's no need, there's no need for a tower. And for those of you who are the future people who will be buying the 90 homes that are planned to go in next to where the cell tower was going to be, you can thank Idahoans for Safe Technology. Go over there and give us a donation to help support our legal fund at idahoansforsafetechnology.org. But I've been, as I've been consulting with people as I get this meter out, people come up to me, I come in sometimes, they've got earbuds in, those, those Bluetooth earbuds. Uh, or they've got, they're wearing their phone on them, or they are, uh, you know, packing it in their pocket, they're packing it, maybe women sometimes put it in their uh, bra strap, super dangerous, and I'm going to, I can't show you the, the visual, but I can tell you, you've got so many things around you, Bluetooth, you've got these wireless mouse for your computer, I have a couple here at the office, I no longer use them, because I measured the output of the frequency coming out of these Bluetooth devices. I've shot off the Bluetooth on my printers, on my computers. Uh, I don't use those. I had for a hot moment the Bluetooth wireless pods from Apple and a couple of other companies. Guys, they're off the charts. And that's, that's affecting your brain. It's affecting your body. Uh, you heard me when uh, on our episode with the Dr. Martin Paul. He was talking about why there's so much infertility. Well, Guys, we know, studies show, that if you're packing your cell phone in your pocket, you're damaging your sperm. Women, you're damaging your eggs. These things are absolutely off the charts. And so I had a couple, another thing, I had a couple come in here with their kids. And I said, let me just show you something. Because every kid had a phone, a smartphone. And they're watching whatever they're watching, right? They're holding it up close to their face. I think that's going to change in that family. Because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn on this meter. Now, I'm going, to turn my, I'm going to have my phone completely off, and uh, I'm going to turn this meter on, and hopefully you'll be able to hear this. Okay. Now, right now, it's very slight, uh, slight to moderate. I turn this phone on, and when it pulses, uh, you can't see this, but it just went up from a magnitude of very small to horrendously a, a lot of power. I mean, absolutely insanity. You couple that around you with Wi-Fi in your buildings, your Bluetooth mouses. I'm going to turn that off now. Um, but I turn off this phone, and it calms right back down. So what is David doing? We know we have our phones. We've got to, we got to use them. Some of you guys got to use them more than others. Uh, but I tell you, when I'm not using my, first of all, my phone on my desk is away from me. Okay, it's not close to me. Uh, when I'm traveling uh, with my phone, uh, when I put it in my pocket, I turn it off. And what you'll want to know, go into your settings is that you have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, hotspot, uh, and your cellular data. And uh, turn that off. Turn all those, you don't need all those on. You don't need Bluetooth on. You don't need Wi-Fi on. Uh, and just put it in airplane mode. You do that, you turn off the hotspot, you turn off all those other antennas, and that's going to help bring that down. Uh, do not use those those buds, those earbuds. You think that's safer? Okay, you just doubled the impact on your body. Doubled. Now, there's a lot of people with Parkinson's, neuropathy, brain fog. I can't tell you exactly how this is going to affect you. I don't know how long it'll take to affect you. We know Hank, who's on our board, has been AFib 18 times, had a $150,000 heart ablation surgery because of a tower uh, about 2,000 feet from his home. I mean, it's close, but it's, it's, it's a bit away. And we've seen in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, 20 homeowners. That tower is 300 to 1,000 feet away, and they issued a cease and desist, the, who's they, the health department in Pittsfield, to Verizon to turn the tower off. Those people have been out of their homes for two years. They can't live in their homes. I'm telling you, Boise, Idaho, you've got to go down and complain to that council, to that mayor, because she's putting up 
thousands of these monopole 5G towers, and all they carry is internet. That's it. They don't carry cell phone calls, texting, nothing. No, not at all. They're super dangerous. They're going to be every 200 feet up and down your street. And if you don't care about that, you will care about your home values because it decreases by 15 to 25% your home value just by having a tower in your front yard. And guys, it's a coming. There's already 450 towers up. And the city council gutted their code, gave Verizon power to do whatever the heck they want. It's dangerous. Go to itemsforsafetechnology.org.